okay so now we we are learning about the search field right search field we have completed and another type of input type which i want to tell you is the phone number for saving the phone number field also we have an another type of input type so a special field for filling the phone numbers can be created using tell input type in the type attribute so here let's we can write it something like so label for is equal to phone or mobile whatever the thing you can say and here i can write input type is equal to tell and i can write name is equal to phone so you need to mention the id also here i have mentioned the for right don't think that i am mentioning the id so i am leaving it but you need to remember you need to mention the id then only this for will work so what is the use of using this tell operator is when we access the same input field using the touch devices like uh, mobiles tabs and all those things so they will display a numeric keypad so that is the reason so they will see this type is equal to tell then they will see the numeric keypad so more probably in the react native so when we are developing the cross hybrid of mobile applications we will use this type of all things now if you see here now you will be thinking that it will allow only the numbers but it will also allow the numeric and all those things also it will try to allow why because uh, because of this wide variety of phone number formats are present around the world so uh, around the world there will be wide variety of phone phone number formats are there so we cannot force this html while this while developing this one so they thought of not enforcing any constraints on this value entered by a user so that is the reason they have included the letters and all those things they have included some some phone numbers may be having plus like this plus 91 so plus bracket 91 so they used to have like this right hyphen so 1 2 3 4 5 so like this different types of phone numbers they used to have so why in the world where in the world so that is the reason the phone number field does a, uh, does it not only takes the numeric it will also take the wide variety if you want to mention the enforce these all validations and all those things means we have a another attribute that is nothing but a pattern attribute i will show you that pattern attribute also in the validations how we can do the validations in html so this is the phone number field and the another one comes is the url so if you want to mention website address if you want to mention the website address you can use this url so url means we already know about that one uniform resource locator so that is nothing but an website address so here we need to mention it as an url so name is equal to url so this is the url so now it adds a special validation constraint to the field the browser will report an error if no protocol such as http is entered so for example let's say that we are submitting here now if i try to enter www.google.com now here this is intended for only the url so now please enter a valid url so this should have a protocol so http like this so this is a well formed url so you need to provide a well formed url so this is the main thing so same thing in the mobile also you'll be able to see dot com like that numeric keypad not not numeric keypad in the keypad you'll be able to see some of the suggestions in this one for the mobile devices for that reason we use, we can use this type is equal to url don't think that i you i will use like this so uh, it will throw an error like that don't think that so we can also have the urls without like this why because we already seen this url right we, this url is a url only but without dot com and all those things we are having so those type of urls also it will accept it don't think that it will uh, accept only www. Uh, if you don't enter so google.com so dot com should be there don't think like that so we know these are well <coughs> these are most commonly used website addresses we have an website addresses that which doesn't take dot com so like that also we have so we will be having tcp okay mqtt so this type of different types of protocols are there when you learn about the what i can say networking and all the things you'll be able to en encounter these all things udp tcp these all things so these are these are all layers <coughs> so this is a different thing let's leave it now the another import so now these are all the different types of single line inputs taking url also we have seen phone search email name these are all the things we have took now another one what i want to tell you is that 
if i want to enter only the numbers other than these you know, letters and all those things if i want only the numbers means there is also an another input type which is present which we will be using more often that is nothing but label i can enter price or anything so price so for this type of prices we will give input type is equal to number and name is equal to number or price so this takes number value whole numbers for example let's say that here if you are having a price if i try to enter anything so letters will not appear so 1 2 3 so these numbers will appear if you try to click on up arrow here so it will increment by 1 so if you uh, if you click on this one it will decrement by 2 so this one <coughs> so this is a numeric type and also for example let's say that you can uh, for example let's say that it is incrementing by 1 right if you want to increment it by 2 2 means for example let's say that i am having 1 here i am incrementing 2 3 4 like this it is incrementing if i click on this one it is it should be incremented by 2 2 means you can have an attribute here so there are some attributes which you can learn it step is equal to 2 so if you mention step is equal to 2 means it will be incremented by 2 2 so for example let's say uh, yeah 4 6 8 9 11 12 14 so like this it will be incremented by 2 2 so how many how much of step if you increment it will allow it will increment for example let's say that i am having 14.98 so this is a valid number only so this is but it is a floating point which has a decimal value of 98 now if i try to submit it here so what it is saying it is throwing an error please enter a valid value the two nearest values the value nearest value should be either 14 or 16 so 16 means we have a step 2 right so that is the reason it is telling that 14 and 16 so now the floating value numbers are not allowed so if you want this floating value numbers also to be allowed means so let's try to make it as a step 1 then you need to mention here step is equal to any okay step is equal to any now if you mention here 14 15.78 something like this if you click on this one So now this 15.78 is also submitted. Now, for example, let's say that we are having 16.78. Let's try to press up arrow. So how much it will upgrade? So 17.78 it should be. So if you try to see here, so it will be upgraded to 17.78, 23.78 like this. It will be upgraded. So that's not a problem. If you want to upgrade it by 0.1 or something like that means then you need to mention here uh, 0.1. So 0.1 also you can mention it. Now if you try to refresh it here. Let's say that 15.9, 15.1 means now it will not go to the 16. It will go to the 15.2. See, 0.01 also. If you try to submit it, it will try to submit also. Not a problem. So this step is indicated like this. Don't don't think that it will take only the one, two, or three whole numbers. It will take the decimal values also, floating point also. It will take. So if you don't want the step all and all those things, so there is no need for you to consider means you can give simply any option. That's not a problem. So this uh, and also for this number we have min and max. These all things we learn in the validations thing. So this is all about the number. So this is number number thing. So we will be using the step option like that. Mm, these are all different types of actually what I can say is if you go on you will be having so many things for color picker for all those things you will be having. So these are the most probably which we will be using more often. So you can also have a slider. We have a slider also. Slider means range. which we can say it so these are different types of input types are there so there are wide varieties of input types which are available so if you go on we'll be having so many things to discuss but these are the more often which we'll be using more uh, more often we'll be using these things so these are all about the single line input elements which are available for ent entering only the single lines now let's move on to the other type of form elements which are available in the html so other form controls sorry we can say it other form controls let's move on to this one other form controls so out of this other form controls the first one which what i want to tell you is the text area so are you able to understand this one up to here is there any doubts so we are we are having wide variety of input types are there as you people already have aware of these things i think i don't know whether in the w3 schools they have mentioned it or not they will be mentioning it but we need to search it somewhere somewhere uh, some deep they will be using I don't know. Yeah, form elements. 
input types yeah here you will be having in input types we have discussed only some of things so we understood about the button checkbox color means it will give you a color palette so date and all those things it will give you email file you already know about this one hidden we have seen M image input type is called image we have seen it it will try to submit the image yeah it will try, it will act as a submit button don't think that to display image number we have seen it password we have seen it so these are all different types you are having url we have seen so like this you can have you can play around with all of those things so that you can understand it so we cannot go these all the things one by one we cannot go it most of the things which you will be using more often in our uh, real time projects i have explained you submit button these are most of the things we have discussed reset these all things we have understood now let's move on to the another one other form controls let's say that other form controls yeah somebody say max max length how we to learn who is that guy talking uh, can you tell the name dharmender max length what is the meaning of the max length maximum length it's for string you need to check you need to check max not a, for a number you need to check max not max length that one is applicable only for the text okay for this one you need to give the max length D understand the difference between those two okay max length will not apply for the numbers you understand so you cannot apply max length for that one so you need to apply min and max for this one for number and you need to apply text min and max will not apply for the text min length and max length will apply for the text fields okay min 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 you need to use the min min is equal to 3 and max is equal to 4 don't use the min length and max length so these are for numbers you need to use min and max for this one you need to use min length and max length for input type is equal to text for this one is min and max you need to use so it will take minimum of 3 3 to 10 3 to 10 it will take number min length means it will take length means what it will the number the decision will go away so it will take length means 1 2 3 3 this is a 3 length but here 3 to 10 means it will take between the 3 and 10 for example if i give 2 here if i click here the value should be greater than 3 and you are saying min length means 3 means then it will take 1 2 3 this is the 3 length understand the difference between those two min length meaning you need to understand don't think uh, blindly we cannot apply that min, min length i understood the difference between min length and min Max means here. Max means up to ten only to accept the number. Ten means you don't think that one, two, three, four, five, six like the ten numbers it will take it. So if I give eleven here, it should be it should be less than or equal to ten. So that is those all things we learn in the validation. So min and max means these things. If you apply min length and max length, min length and max, we should not apply the min length and max length. Why we nobody will apply this for this one min length and max length. Here for the text we will apply the min length and max length. Okay, so don't interchange those all meanings and all those things. So fine, let's move on to the another one. So you understood the meaning of that one, min and max. Nobody will apply min length and max length for the number. I never applied that one. Min and max only will apply for a number. <coughs> so it's a number means we'll check with the number greater than or equal to only. If a text means we'll check the num we'll check the length of that one only. So it will take that one. We cannot say here uh, writing the number and we cannot say min is equal to three and min is equal to four like that. those things you need to do through javascript only dharmendra don't expect html everything will do it for you these are the basic things which html can do it okay so html is the basic things it will do it phone number validations if you want to use it means we can use an another one those all things we will do it through the javascript only fine so let's go on to the other form controls that is nothing but an text area first one we need to learn about the text area so label so i am giving a description so here i can have the description and this one is text area 
so text area i will be giving the description here so we can remove these calls and, and all those things no no need mm. so this is a simple text area so if this will allow us to enter the multiple values the multiple lines so here if you try to write so you can write the multiple lines so whatever the multiple lines you are trying to write it so it will be sent as it is so here i have pressed enter because of the reason we are able to see the enter symbol also so those all things are sent in the text area whereas the input box it will not send you so the main difference between a text area and a regular single line text field is that users can allow to include hard line breaks that uh, that's what i have applied right enter pressing by pressing enter hard line line breaks i can i can apply so those all things also will be uh, will be sent through the to the server so text area will take also take a closing tag and any default text you want to add it you should be add between the opening and closing tags you should there is no value for this one so if you want any default value means you need to add between this opening and the closing tag so this is also one important one which you need to remember so here the default value has been added so the <coughs> in contrast the input element what it is have it is an empty element empty element means the input the element which doesn't have a content and a closing tag so now the for that one the default value if you want to mention means we will be using the value attribute so these are the main things you need to understand it other than those in this one what i can say is the calls and the rows you know about the columns and the rows so columns and the rows means how many columns it will be it will be showing so for example let's say the four columns and rows means the horizontal thing four rows sorry four rows means so these all things you people know about this one so this is are nothing but four columns and four rows so this is how the text area will be defined with the rows and columns if you want to add an attribute apart from this one we have an another attribute which i want to discuss you that is nothing but a wrap attribute i don't know so whether you people uh, know what or not so specifies how the control wraps the text so these are these values will have something like soft hard and off so we'll be having soft hard and off the default one is the soft one okay soft one how this is behaving like that that is a thing soft means which means the text is not wrapped but the text rendered by the browser is wrapped so that means here uh, let's say that so here i am trying to write some data well, let's remove this uh, columns and all the things columns i'll try to keep 10 Uh, rows let's keep it as four only now here i am going on writing the values so here uh, i am uh, html course like this i am going on writing the values right automatically when i am writing the html and automatically the browser has wrapped the text okay if i try to submit this this value so here the text is not wrapped so leela html and course so everything has been went without any without any problem but here what has happened that browser has wrapped the text so this is the default behavior whereas hard if you try to mention the hard so if you try to mention the hard here let's see how it will happen so now here hard is there so here i am mentioning so leela html course like this so it is going in the bottom now if i try to submit this one see here after the course we are able to see an uh, url encoded format that is nothing but an enter we are able to see that value also it is going to the server so that means the browser what it has wrapped the text those all hard line breaks also will go, will be going to the server whereas soft means whatever the things you manually press the enter those things only will be went the browser wrapped those things will not be went now if you mention the off so off is a default one so it, which stops the wrapping so the wrapping will not at all appear so here if i try to write something see here whatever the text we have written so it has got a horizontal scroll bar here now if i try to enter whatever thing i am writing here so nothing no wrapping is appearing whereas if you mention it as a soft now immediately the browser automatically wraps it so if i mention this one as a now here the browser automatically has wrapped it so now if i am trying to enter it so it the browser is wrapping whereas if i if i want to mention off so it will not wrap it so that is a that is a main thing wrap is the main attribute which you want to discuss and you have an another attribute also not attribute so these are different things i'll be there in the css if you want to resize it only horizontally so now this time it will be horizontal and vertically both side we can resize it so if you want to control this one means you have a css uh, property that is nothing but resize 
so you can use that css uh, resize thing in html we cannot have we, we don't have this one uh, horizontal uh, resize horizontal resize vertical like that you will be having so that is a different thing so this is all about the text area which you will be having and the another one what i want to discuss you about is that is nothing but a drop down box that is, we can also drop downs drop down control we used to call it as drop down controls are a simple way to let the users select from many different options without taking much space in the user interface we have seen in somewhere in the check boxes and all those things we have seen it right so here if you see this check boxes so we are able to see what is your favorite uh, select the hobbies select the hobbies we have seen and we are able to show the wide varieties of this check box and also what i can say the radio what is you, what is your favorite fruit means so we are showing wide variety of friend so this takes a lot of space actually if you try to see this takes a lot of space in the web page so this takes a lot of space in the web page so if you don't want to take much space in the web space where web page and you want to provide an option to the user so that the user can select the option means we can use an another one that is nothing but a drop down option so that drop down option will be how it will be is i will try to show you here same thing mm, label and for select select your mm, favorite fruit or something like this so same thing which we have mentioned in the radio button now here what i want to do is here we can have a select option select button <coughs> select drop down so we mention using the select button drop down and we can have a name for this one so name is nothing but the fruit so which will be sent to the server the as a value name and here in this select option we will be having options list of options there is nothing but option so we can mention banana and another one we can mention cherry and another one we can mention lemon or something like this okay so these are the select options which we can see if i try to mention the see the output so where we are trying trying to see the output yeah in this one right so here we can able to see the options so that the user can select out of those options like this so this is a select drop down so this one we can represent using the radio button with a, we can also have an options to select the multiple also so we can with our radio button also we can show this one so we which we have seen it here so uh, mango banana apple like this we have seen it right so in the same scenario we can show it here but it is student will take the less space so uh, does the same thing only radio button and this does the same thing only each one has its own differences <clears throat> now in the select box we can also have an another option in a such a way that we can display these all the things as a groups so there is nothing but for example let's say that you want to mention this one as a groups so let's say here option group you can have an option group so you can mention these things as an option group and here you need to mention the label let's say that fruits so these all comes under the groups you can mention the options as a groups also so these all comes under the groups let's say that this one is a mango so what is this lemon is not a fruit right yeah here another option group we can mention the option group opt group actually not option group so for this one also we will mention it as a label let's say vegetables so we are grouping these all the things so here you can mention option and you can say it as a carrot let's remove this value we'll discuss about this value also afterwards so option and another one we can have potato and option we can have another one something like uh, we'll see anything cauliflower okay so these are the these these comes under the vegetables and these comes under the fruits so you can also differentiate into different groups these options also now let's see how the option how the output will appear if you see here see the fruits the label we are able to see in a strong bold color so we cannot able to select that fruits option okay we can select only the banana cherry and this one only if you go to the vegetables and these things we can select it like this we the options also we can group it into a different different groups also we can do it using the option group this option group is not selectable only the options are only the selectable options so we can group those all things using the option group so this is one of the feature available in the select box this, this creates visually appearance that the group so we are making it as a group those all things 
now for example let's say that we have a name attribute so say fine now let's say that i am trying to submit this one so i have selected this value and i have submitted this caret if i click on the submit we are able to see that fruit is equal to caret that is able to send it to the server so that means the name of this uh, drop down box is na name is a fruit and the value which i have selected is a caret because of the reason caret is able to send it for example let's say that i have i want to show something uh, red caret or something like this i want to show it but i want i don't want to send this value to the server i want to send another value to the server so for that reason you can mention it as a value so, so caret i can mention I the Alexa, stop. Yeah. So you can you can mention this one as a value is equal to caret. So this red caret. Now, for the user visual appearance, the red caret will be visible, but in the server, the data will be sent is the caret. So here you can mention, you here you can see that caret, and here if you may, if you see this red caret, I am able to see this one as a red caret. If I click here and if I submit it, but the value sent is only the caret. If you don't mention the value, whatever the whatever the text you are mentioning it here, whatever the text you are mentioning it here, automatically it will be sent to the server. So that is the main thing you need to understand it. So here, if I mention it as a red caret, if I click on submit, so the red caret will be sent here. Why? Because the text of this value, the text is nothing but red caret only. But here, if you try to mention this one as value as a caret, then only this value will be sent, not the red caret. So this is the main thing you need to understand about the value attribute. So this is all most option, most things will be uh, select box. For example, if you want to select multiple options, means the same thing as you have in an email. So you can also have a multiple, so that you can select the multiple options like the check box. So here you'll be able to see. So these are all things you can select it multiple by pressing the control. So you can press select it, not uh, like that by pressing control and click on the mouse. You'll be able to select these all options. If you click on submit. These all values will be sent here, and if you want to display this size also, you can have the size attribute for this one. I didn't remember exactly. Size equal to three, or otherwise size is equal to six. So that means six items will be displayed. Let's see the output. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six items will be displayed, including the option group also. So we are able to see the six options at a time. So like this. So these are the most probably which we will be using more often. These are the attributes. you can check more attributes also that is all about the drop down mm, so that's it so these are the different types of options that are available so check box we have seen radio these are all the things select box we have seen uh, text area these are all the different types of input types that is all about the different types of web form controls there are also so many options are available so like progress meters uh, like this we are having So those all things uh, which we will be using less often. Those all things. So when you get a option, you can see those all things also. In W three schools, I think maybe you can find it. I think I don't know whether you'll be able to see form elements. Form elements means we can able to see it. I think the data list is one of the thing which is an auto complete. You can check it that one also. Uh, that not uh, does that does nothing. So just like this one data, you can provide that uh, data list ID, and you can use it for that one. Uh, List is equal to something we will be keeping. I didn't remember exactly. Let's try to see data list where this guy has given data list. Whether he has given it or not. Yeah, here we will be giving this ID, and for this one we will keep for the input we will keep a list so that whatever the user types here, so this data list will appear. So this one ID and this list you need to keep it. So that's it. So data list is nothing. So like a drop down only it will appear. But for the input, we will be using this one auto complete like that. But we not will not use this auto complete. I will try to show you. It will something like it will come as an auto complete, but it is not pure as an auto complete. So we will be using our JavaScript methodology only. So like this, if you try to see here, the output. Where is that output gone? Yeah. So here, if you if user wants to search something, so here you'll be able to see it, right? The list of options it is coming as a drop down something like that. If you want to select Chrome, means this one will appear. So here you'll be able to see it. So if you are typing something, means it will try to show you. It is not at all showing. Also, okay, Firefox only is there. I think Firefox. Yeah. So we can select like these options. But this one is more less often we'll be using this auto complete like that. We'll be using this one. 
this one should be something like very bigger and all those things we will be using our own uh, methodology in the javascript that is a different thing leave it we can leave it we will not use this one but that is supported so almost all the browsers support the data list data list but the, the some of uh, most browsers will not support older browsers like ie versions these things will not support so if it doesn't support means it will go back to a fallback something like input type is equal to text only it will try to display that's not that's the other thing that's all about the web forms so before closing this uh, web forms thing we will try to see the validations in the web forms so what are the html validations that it will support in this one let's try to see let's see input validations So one validation which is uh, for example let's say that this is a form okay i want to write validations for this one so let's say that we are taking a registration form here i am having a label name and name and for this one so what i can do input type is equal to text let's say that this is a required field uh, so let's say that this is a button submit okay this one is submit Let's try to see the output for this one. Input type validations. Open this one in live server. Yeah. Now, if I want to show you here, let's try to submit here. Okay. Let's we have submitted. Now it is without entering the value also. The value is submitting. So now we don't want this one to be submitted like that empty value. So we want to we we want to force the user. At least he has to enter something in this name. Okay, whatever the value it may be, it has to enter something. Now, if I am clicking on the uh, submit, it is trying to, it is, it is sending to the server as a name is equal to empty. It should not happen like that. At least the validations, at least the validation means nothing but a required validation should be provided. At least the user has to write something before sending it to the server. So for that one, we have an attribute that is nothing but a required attribute. So if you provide this one required, then what it will happen is the HTML will force the user to enter something. Okay, whatever it may be the value to enter something. So here I can use like this and I can write uh, without writing if I try to submit here, it will tell you that please fill out this field. Okay, so these are designs and all those things. These are HTML uh, native versions. So if you want to have more version, more design and all those things, means we need to do it in the JavaScript only, JavaScript and CSS, these things. But these are the HTML default native validations which are provided in the HTML will try to learn it. So now here we can, if I try to submit here, it will try, it will submit it. If I click on submit without submitting, so this required. It will need. So now required means specifies whether a form field needs to be filled in before the form can be submitted. Okay, so that is the main thing. Before the form submission, so we will mention that that the field should be filled. That is one attribute. So this is applicable for all the attributes. You can apply it for all the input elements or for all the elements you can do it. The next one, what I want to discuss you is the min length and the max length. Specifies the minimum and maximum length of the textual data. Okay, textual data strings. We, we more probably will be using the strings for this one. So you can mention it one as min length is equal to. It should be a take minimum of three characters and maximum of it can take uh, around ten characters. So it will take the minimum of three characters and a ten characters. Now, if you try to mention this one, so now here, if I try to mention only two characters, if I submit here, please lengthen this text to three characters or more. You are currently using two characters, so that is all text they have given. So for the text, uh, uh, what I can say, customizing the text also, we have the, the attributes and all those things. So there are different things. We don't want to discuss it here. So here we can write it like this and now it will be submitted if I try to enter more than so here up to 10 characters only it is restricted I cannot able to enter more than 10 characters automatically the HTML input box has restricted the field to have only the 10 characters so min length and max length so it is used to apply for the minimum length of the characters now the next one what we can see is the min and max you people already have seen about this one min and max we have seen it so let's say for the price these things we will be using 
and this min and max will be using for the numerical input types specifies the minimum and maximum values of the numerical input types so now number i can use it and here i can use min and max so now min and max now if i try to apply for this one so if i try to use 12 so i can able to decrease it what is the min and max i have mentioned okay min 10 i have mentioned okay so here if i try to add it so more than 10 it is not going up so less than 10 it is going here like this so this is the min and max and we already know about the type so which you, you mentioned the type means number email address and some other specific preset types we have seen it those all things are different apart from these validations so these are the validations actually available apart from these validations we have another validation that is nothing but a pattern pattern attribute we used to specify the regular expression okay for example let's say that we have an email label email and here we have an email and we will be having input type is equal to email so that it will take only the email so this is an email now if you want to mention so email so it will take only the email only so if you don't mention these all the things it will show you an error so that is a different type of validations okay so this one is showing an error and here it is showing uh, what is this? so six we can enter it now here this is showing an email address validation now for example let's say that i want to allow only the gmail into this email i don't want other other emails it, it needs to enter own it i need to enter only the gmail.com email id so that means this should be something like at the rate gmail.com like this only these type of emails only should be entered so other than those email address should not be entered means so different types of regular expression also you can write it so this pattern will applicable for all the input types you can apply it for all the input types okay that's not a thing now here i can apply a pattern so you can apply a pattern in a such a way that uh, how we can apply it pattern so dot where is the plus here where is this plus in this yeah plus so dot means any character it will take any character and plus means one or more at the rate gmail.com so here preceding you can have any type of characters okay you can have any type of characters dot plus and at the rate gmail.com means you can have at the rate gmail after that one so you need to have at the rate gmail.com only so that is the main thing you need to understand it so now if i try to save this one and if i try to show you i don't know whether it will work or not so if i try to press enter oh these all things are there okay so this should be five and here if i click see please match the requested format so these are text messages and all those things so now here we have entered something gmail other than gmail id we have entered something and this should be gmail.com then only it will try to enter so here if i try to submit it now it has been submitted so like these patterns we can we can have wide variety of patterns so as you people i don't know you people are aware of regular expressions or not so regular expressions using the different types of combination of regular expressions so we can apply here patterns and we can do more validations. So for this one also you can use the regular expression. For this one also you can use this regular expression using pattern. So whatever the thing. So you want to implement it you can use it. So like this we can use all the different types of. These are the different validations available in the HTML. So if you want more uh, validations means. So we need to go to the JavaScript only. So these are the different validations that are available. So do you people have any doubts in this one? So you can apply the different combinations and you can try it. So those all things. So pattern and all those things leave it. So if you people are aware of regular expressions, so then you can people can do. Or otherwise you can leave it. Pattern means so you can use. So here you'll be having zero or more, zero or one. Okay. So like this you'll be having. So here this should be at least one. At least one. Plus means one or more. So here star means zero or more question mark means you can have like this or otherwise if you want something like uh, uh, email it should have own it should allow only the email id something like lila at the rate lila.com is you can give like this so then that means it will take only this email id only other than this email id it will not take anything if you want to apply after the lila i can have uh, some uh, other characters will be allowed means from zero to nine hello 
so like this star mark means zero or more so now it should have lila preceding by a numbers zero or more means any numbers i can have now it will take something like so like this you will be having a regular expression lila at the rate lila dot com is accepted okay it will be accepted why why because so it please match the requested format so star means one or more or one i didn't remember exactly so one or more i think this one so now if i try to enter at least one number here this will be accepted please match the oh what is this one lila at the rate okay the star is going to this one or what so we need to make a grouping so these are all different so regular expressions these are all different so if you people are aware of this one we can do it or otherwise we can check it in the regular expression i don't know whether it will work or not so let's see i enter only the one value yeah this one is asking all the time i'll try to match it please match the required format okay i'll write another one what is happening here regex regex pair or something like that so normally we used to check with this one only so let's say it needs to match here we'll have having a cheat sheet so we can check dot means it any character it likes it here is the star and all yeah star yeah a star means zero or more a plus means one or more okay so what i want to have so here i'll be having lila 3 at rate lila dot com like this if you want so now i can have any character something like a to z a to z it should be uh, zero or more okay one or more it should be one or more so then i can apply plus so then afterwards it should be preceding with a zero to nine so we should have zero or more okay and afterwards it should have at the rate lila.com so now this is matching why i don't know there it's not having so now what i have written here a to z zero uh, one or more a to z star or more so now here lila at the rate lila.com also it will be valid see lila at the rate lila.com is also valid if i enter lila so 1 2 3 4 5 at the rate lila.com is also valid so this one is also valid why because a to z means a to z so now if i try to add here capital e now gone so from here onwards it is matching okay so if you want here it should have from starting here like this and ending should be dollar mark like this you need to have now it will not match so like this it should be so you you can have different things so these all things you can leave it so like this we have different types of regression pattern so you, you can copy now when it works here i will copy here and i will do it there like this will do so what happened to this one i don't know so like this let's see if it will work or not i don't know whether it will work or not mm where is that where I, okay not this one right not this one also i think this one yeah so here it needs to take lila at the rate lila.com so this one is valid or otherwise 3 4 okay 6 yeah, it has submitted so like this we need to check in the regex tester and all those things we will be writing the valid regular expression pattern and we can copy it so we cannot write like that simply so you understood right so do you have any doubts up to here validations and all those things hello nobody is talking so fine so this is all about the html sessions so tomorrow we will learn about the we will start the css so the in validations also you have we have completed so you can do you can create a form registration form or anything and try practicing the validations using the pattern so if you people know about this uh, well regular expression and all those things you can check it in the regex tester and all uh, and those things and you can practice it so if you don't know means leave it not a problem but as a programmer you need to aware of this one so we'll be using in the real time projects more type so w slash w means words digits and spaces this one is a spaces and here this is a negation so this is this one is a grouping grouping means matches so not matches so a to g anchor link starting and ending word boundaries word boundaries are different you uh, people are not aware capture groups these are groups things fine then so tomorrow we'll start the css okay 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 so practice those things
and do the validations so practice those min max min length and max length these are all things you can practice pattern required email so do those all validations then you will get hands on experience then of course in the javascript and all those things you learn again so just the native functionalities which the html provides us so these are the things i have explained you so later on you can learn the some more things also you can do it okay fine then so tomorrow we will uh, catch with the css is internet is fine for all of you again the problem is rising no sir it is fine for your problems okay